Right, we have two Dysons in for a service, both from the same place. And um, they also have a DC27, but I haven't got that because it was alright, wasn't used much <clears throat> compared to these three. So I left them with that, but they're sort of used semi-commercially, maybe a few times a week. Probably all at once, the three of these. Yes, three, because why would you have one DC25 when you can have two? Woohoo, so... That's another to look at, right. I was going to do a separate video, just the 225s and the 40, but then I haven't got time, so I'll just combine them all into one. We'll start with this. It didn't stand up. <clears throat> it kind of tried, and then it clicked, but then it fell back again. That's because that hose had come off, and it was stuck in the mechanism. So, how they didn't notice there was no suction at all? How it was even... I mean, that's how full it was when I got it. Like, how was it picking that up? Um, I don't know. Have a look at the filter. Yep, nice and dusty. Yep, that all needs a good clean up. Yeah, so it is under guarantee, but they've asked me to just deal with it. They said, well, we don't, we can't remember who bought it. So that would be a hassle getting it to them to get the guarantee sorted. Anyway, max and minimum slider. They all run. I think all the brush rolls work too. I think one of them's really rattly. I could show you the post motor filter, but I can't really be bothered. And it's just not normal. The hose is fine. It's got this attachment. If I can click it back in, there we are. So it's fairly modern. Same colour as my small ball allergy was. If we lift this up, the hose is intact. Get the handle back in. There we go. That is it in there. It is a pretty bit. Like it's not sitting flush. There we are. That's right. So yeah, all in all, this one's in very good condition. Again, not as old as the other. Those are 2012, I think. I don't know how old the 27 was. I just looked at it briefly. 27s are pretty nasty things anyway. So I kind of said, well, there's not much we can do with that. I can't remember. Brush roll is there, a bit hairy, well you can't even see it though, that's thing there, a bit stringy and hairy but it's there, it'll all clean up fine, <laughs> you can go in the corner. There seems to be DC 40s everywhere, I've got one that I've been given as well, so what is wrong with the 25s? Well, one of them, I think it's this one, yeah, uh, doesn't, doesn't quite stand up properly. Whereas this one does, because it doesn't flop about the place. If anyone knows what that is, then do tell me, but I'll investigate soon. We both have fairly disgusting brush heads. Now that, oh my goodness, that's nice and dusty. I won't be running these in this video, I will run them in the after videos. Let's look in here. Mm, quite bad. It's uh, it's not full of fluff, but it's got that horrible fine dust in it. So I uh, hopefully that filter will clean up fine. Again, I could show you the post filters, but they're just black from carbon. Now is it this one's filter that? Yeah, well it will be. Wait till you see this. Again, how they don't stop and think. Hang on, this has no suction at all. You ready? There. That's quite bad. Blimey, that is thick. I shouldn't have zoomed in on it there. I was just, yeah, I'll just leave it all in there just now. Again, they're quite empty, so I think because they get used so much, like they were literally using them when I went to go and get them. Like, I don't think it's a particularly minging cap that they're all used on, but anyway, it'll get a lot of traffic. Just look at the back, the hoses are intact. They both click in. These all these both have both of their attachments, if that makes any sense. A fairly alright brush. This brush is it this one, eh? This one's all encrustulated with fluff. Very nice. And then they've both got the same upholstery tools, which I can't be bothered getting out, so sorry. Uh, if you look underneath. Look at the ball by the way, that is minging. You'll see that, yep, we have some nice hair, lovely. Brush does have damage on this one. 
So we'll see it. Oh well, is that supposed to be as short as that? Who knows? Anyway, not too bad. If we look at the brush roll on this, I see that. That should not do that. So if anyone watching knows what that might be, tell me. But I'm going to look into the into the board. So I've had one before that did that. Wow, big clump of hair there. This one's quite bad. Oh, aye, that's quite melted. Yes. Okay, so we might need some brush rolls then. Anyway, you will see them all. Probably I'll just cut a cut another part onto this video. So now, oh, as if you're going through a time machine, they will be all clean. And here they all are after servicing, etc., etc. Um, none of them are especially mint, but they're clean. This one I didn't fully strip because DC forties are a nightmare. I fully stripped this though, cleaned all this up, filter. If I do that, washed up like new though, which is very handy indeed. But yeah, this one's in the best condition, obviously a lot newer. Um, I don't really want to show you them working because they're all clean and they just sound like normal Dyson's. These two, I did fully strip and wash, etc. Clothes is still slightly damp for this one. Again, they've got quite a lot of scuffing. I tried to clean some of it up, but you'll see it's all clean in here now. New filters. Which I actually have picked up a couple bits on them, but you get the gist. It's mostly clean in there. There's a couple crevices that can get spotless. There's a new filter in there, but I'm not taking it out. You'll have to take my word for it. New brush roll and a new brush roll end cap, which has made all the difference to how they sound. That's the same for both, actually. This one's got the very same new filters. And both have new seals in there because both of them had perished away. Cable's been cleaned. There's the tools. These all work very smoothly. I don't really want to show you them working because they're all clean. There's not really much to show you. I showed you it all in the before video. This one again, scuffed but clean motors in these by the way. Loads of life in them. I'm quite impressed with how reliable DC25 suction motors are. I mean, these have been heavily used all their life and the brushes were still pretty good. So I'm impressed with that. Yeah, so hopefully they're good. I just swap, um, oh I, I put a new yoke. I think it was this one. To stop the head, see it's the same as this one, stop the head flopping about. Um, I think, what was I going to say? Don't know, can't remember. Yeah, I did actually swap the brush roll motor on one as well, I had a spare. One of them rattled immensely, and when I looked inside there was a bit of, it was like there was a bit chipped out the commutator in the motor. So I just swapped the motor out with one I had. So yeah, very good, they're going back tomorrow. Same with those two Henrys. Not from the same place, these three and the two Henrys are from a different place. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much for watching.